I don't know. In my mind, the Modus has kind of just made this knife look like crap. It, it, <laughs> yeah. Not that the Rat 1 or Rat 2 is bad. It's crap. <laughs> but <laughs> This the, one's just better. It's all about the Modus. Mm -hmm. Here, let me see. Go ahead. Have you guys heard of this? Mm. Steel Will. Frankie, they're kind of a Johnny come lately. Yes, or a Willie come lately. <laughs> make, leave it to you to make anything dirty. <laughs> it's not. It's a name. S Steel Will. On at least for knives, yeah, it's a, it's this Italian company that mm -hmm. have been building folders and fixed blades actually. Yeah. Um, for a little while now, and they've absolutely caught our attention with this one. They're coming on strong. They really are. And some other ones. Mm -hmm. Frankie, we did, well, we did one video on the cut jack. Steel Will, and it's the cut jack, which is a very similar design to this knife. It's a bit bigger. We had the Italian, the Italian made knife. Mm -hmm. And although it was very nice, we really liked it. We were just less impressed with because the, of the price. Cost. With, yeah. yeah. Compared to what else is out there. Mm -hmm. It seemed like N390 was the only thing. Well, and the fact that that it was made in Italy yeah. were the only things that, that brought the cost the up. The price, yeah. Um, but these budget versions it's are a, awesome. It's a whole different story. Mm -hmm. Here, let me, uh, Go ahead. let me grab that. So this is the Modus. We've not had it for very long here. We had to get a video out. Mm -hmm. well, We've had it for like a week maybe. Yeah, I figure we're probably going to do more videos of this series and of this brand. Mm -hmm. So may as well get one going. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had to because we were so impressed by it. We bought three knives at, in one shipment, and this one was just the standout of it. We opened it up and we're just like, whoa. This, this has been the sweet. standout. Frankie, you want to go ahead and say the cost? $42. $42 is what, uh, at the time of this video, this knife uh -huh. is coming in at. Yeah, which is one of the most impressive factors about it. Besides the fact that it's just kind of an all-around... Oh, bad flip, that was my fault. You hit it on your finger, yeah, that's why. Yeah. It's one of the just all-around winners of this class. Um, let's say, oh, you know what? We bought it with <laughs> the this same, knife. The same shipment, okay. We got the Kershaw Natrix? Yeah. Yeah, Natrix, okay. Also, 40, 42, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. um, Frankie, this one just blows it away. Yeah, I I picked this one up and I was like, eh, it's cool, you know. like It's it, all right, it's, okay. it's fine, yeah. it's fine. But then I took this one out and I was like, Ooh. That's a, that was a little that was, that was the exact sound. You hit a high made. note. You hit a high <laughs> note, yeah. No, and this one is excellent, all things considered. Of course, they're both Chinese produced, we should say. Mm -hmm. um, all things considered. But then you throw in the fact that, that this, the Modus, is yeah. D2 steel. I'll flip it over. Look. Actually, yeah, D2. We, can, we can show it. You know, that, that, is a, um, that is something we should point out, too. The... The, the branding, the labeling on here, the font, mm -hmm. it's very minor. It's it not is real. Nice. It's not it's, tacky. <laughs> yeah, it's not like in your face like some knives are. Yeah, um, I like it. It's just super basic, very small. It's not like, let's plaster. Yeah, nothing on the clip. It. Not that you could. It would, it would be difficult to do. Mm -hmm. Love the clip, by the way. Yeah, the modus. Okay. So, real quick, we should talk about. I had to learn this too. What's the difference between this and the cut jacks? the cut jack, which they also do the budget line in? Mm -hmm. Okay, so in this one, Frankie, blade length three and a quarter. Mm -hmm. All right, on the cut jacks, you've got them at right in the middle. Oh, um, well, you've got this one right in the middle. So this modus cuts the cut jacks in half, so to speak. Yes. Kind of. Yeah. Because there's the regular cut jack, and then there's the mini. The, yeah, yeah, and you've got three and a half inches and three? three, yeah, three inches. So this one's coming in right in the middle, three and a quarter. Which lately, it's been our perfect size. It, We've been kind of just defaulting to this size. It's great. Three and three and a quarter, I would say, are very popular for us lately. Mm -hmm. um, anybody who's been watching the channel probably knows. There's a hair on there. I'll get it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but the other difference too, I mean, they're, they're basically the same knives, but the other difference, Frankie? Oh, yeah, is the blade shape. Right. This one being? A sheep's foot. Sheep's foot, which is probably one of our favorite blade styles. Well, it's our favorite type of feet. Also, yeah. <laughs> the um, cut jack series are drop points. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So really, just minor differences there. Um, so, yeah, when we're talking about the modus, we're, I guess we're also kind of talking about the cut jacks as well. Yeah. 
Um, I wish we had another one to compare it to. The budget, the budget side of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we've already talked about it. Three and a quarter inch D two steel blade, Frankie D two at forty two dollars. That's okay. great. I want to say real quick. D2 is used in a lot of higher end production knives. Yeah, for sure. And even customs. All right, we're talking, um, well, we're talking Medford uh -huh. uses D2 almost exclusively. And so does Browse. Jason Browse does, Browse. Yeah. yeah. And and those knives can be very expensive, and uh -huh. everybody's fine with D2. Yep. Why? Because it's a good steel. It is a good steel. Yeah. So we're getting D2 at 42 bucks. The reason that's such a highlight. All right, blade steel seems to be a big topic of conversation mm -hmm. right now. Blade steel for the price. That's um, why we got out all these guys too. All these knives here, yeah. Specifically that Natrix, okay? Yeah. That's the same price as the Modus mm -hmm. Eight CR thirteen MOV. Right. Yep. Never mind that it's also assisted, mm -hmm. which people don't seem to like as much. But nope. yeah, blade steel alone, same price, eight CR thirteen MOV. Versus yeah. D2. Well, and these are all kind of in the same price range-ish. The Tenacious. Love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. 8CR13 MOV. Right. All right. That one's even more expensive, I want to say. I want to say it's $45 on the Tenacious. Great well, knife. Well, but and we just reviewed this. The Rake. 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 Who's and saw? this one is 14C228N. Yeah, that's so a little steel. bit done. Yeah. Yeah, decent steel on that one. 35 bucks. Also a good choice here uh -huh. um, kind of in the same class yeah you know what this is a decent knife here this is the um, link yeah the Kershaw link all right it's got that 420 HC which I have less overall experience uh -huh. with but I don't think it has the edge retention uh, reputation yeah. that D2 does well and then this one's b built in America and then same with the $35 dividend. dividend another favorite of ours yeah. that same blade steel that 420 HC high carbon uh -huh. Um, again, I just don't think that it has the reputation that D2 does as far as edge retention goes. And then, of course, the rat that you you talked this about to the, start with. Yeah, this is the Aust 8 version, but you can get the D2 version yeah. of the rat for the same price, I want to say. Mm -hmm. The same price, 35 or 40 somewhere in there. But you know what? It's just not, it's nowhere near as fun. It's just so bulky for what you It get. is bulky, isn't it? I mean, and for me, look at it. It's like the same blade length, and look yeah. at how much handle you have to hold to. Do you have the scale? Yeah. I don't know if I had that ready. Oh my gosh, no you don't. Okay, let's uh, get this zeroed. Okay. Let's check, what are we checking first? Subject of the video, okay, 3.40 mm -hmm. ounces on the Modus, all right? Okay. Let's just do these quick. The wrap. Chunky, chunky bastard. Over five ounces? Okay. This is pretty light. Should be about light. the same. This is pretty light. Guessing. Oh, 2.9. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He's really light. And the link, and of course the dividend. The dividend's a smaller knife though. 4.15. Yeah. 2.95. That's a smaller knife though, all yeah. around everything. Yeah, the um the modus. That one's the closest. It's on the it's on the lower end of the scale <laughs> yeah. of these knives, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, here we go. I'll hand that to you. Okay. Um you want to talk about D2 steel real quick, actually. Okay. We we made a chart. A quick chart to put this into Our perspective. Official chart. Yeah, because um, a little bit of a glare there. Can oh, you move okay. this light temporarily? Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, check this out. In this range, there's often compared 8CR13 MOV because that's what you're going to find mostly. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're seeing edge retention is what makes D2 the standout with a sacrifice at uh, Frankie. The chromium. Uh, well, corrosion resistance, yeah. which is often um, uh, built up by chromium, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's officially not even a stainless steel. Okay. It's coming in less, I want to say 12 or 13 is the official, official. to make a steel this stainless. This might be like considered a surgical steel. <laughs> <laughs> you just made that crap up completely. Okay, so carbon is where you get the bulk of your edge retention mm -hmm. and hardness, okay? Um, basically double here, we're talking for the D2 over right, chromium, yeah. all right? Um, which makes it more expensive to work with, the D2 that is, mm -hmm. in every factor because it's harder to work with. Yeah, it's, it's harder to it's harder to create, it's harder to work with, mm -hmm. all right? To build things out of, okay? So that's one of the reasons why D2 is considered more expensive, all right? Um, vanadium's also one of, those, one of those elements that is gonna build yes. up your uh, edge retention ultimately. But we I like we'd our official chart. Yeah, official chart. Mm -hmm. Let's get these out of the way. Have we talked about 
stats. Yeah, sheep's foot. It is Love sheep's it. foot. Love mm it. -hmm. It's a flipper only. There's no other deployment for it. No. Let's show that real quick. I want to get a close up for him. It has some jimping on the flipper tab. Yeah, it's got a little bit of jimping there. Frankie, would you change anything about the flipper tab or the mechanism at all? No, I it's really, really like it. It's just basically awesome. perfect. Yeah. It's basically perfect. Oh, speaking of jimping, there's a little bit on the on the tiny mild, little ramp, tiny little thumb ramp there. Here it is in my hands. Just about, I mean, maybe a touch small, but my hands are on the larger side for sure. Mm -hmm. But you yeah. always like to brag about I it. gotta tell the people. <laughs> I'm not bragging. Frankie's hands are Frankie's Frankie's small hands. I, I have small hands. Yeah, but this one's gonna work for you absolutely very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, before you got home, I, I, I beat you, you home and started there. Uh, yeah. I got this knife apart. We'll go ahead and be showing the um, innards. The still photo right now. Yeah. So nice construction on this. You can see it's it's got the backspacer there. It's the it's the FRN handles, the fiber reinforced nylon handles, mm -hmm. which I love. The texture is perfect. Yeah, it's got that aluminum backspacer there. Yes. Which a couple of barrels, um, threaded barrels, go through there. Mm -hmm. All right. But and it's mainly just to add some color to it. Add some color and and keep it apart. Well, and that's where the um, lanyard hole is too. Would go as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, the construction on this nice, and you notice, okay. Um, washers. Yeah. Just basic washers. You know what? I like it. Mm -hmm. It keeps it simple. But it, that's where it, it, this could be a little bit better of a knife is that it could be just a touch smoother. Okay, so we can't say 100% good things. We have to find something to complain about, right? The retraction the, could just be a little bit smoother. Overall, but. overall, and it's just a nitpick, we're saying uh -huh. that this knife is, it just could be a little smoother, okay? It's, but... But maybe it will work in, too. I mean, it is brand new, also. Yeah, we, so, had, I mean, we had flipped it a bunch, yeah. and then I took it apart, to, and I used the uh, five-weight mm -hmm. nano oil. Um, it's it's the same. Yeah. The centering's, I think, a little off, but I need to adjust it still. Left or right hand tip up. Yeah, yeah. tip up only, thank you, mm -hmm. where it needs to be. Yeah, you can switch the clip. Let's look at that clip, though. Yeah. It's very simple. It's simple. It's um, it's skeletonized in itself, mm -hmm. and it's, it's all it needs to be. Yeah, basically. That's all it needs to be. And it's not set ultra super deep, which I'm not a fan of. Mm -hmm. It's set fairly deep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and let's talk about the backspacer too, because this goes with also the different colors that you can get. Oh right. It does come in three different colors. We went with the most basic black and blue. You can't go wrong with that. At the time of this video, anyway. Yeah, there's the um There's green that has a it's like a I don't know, it's almost like a tealy green. Okay. I don't know. I'm not sure how to describe it. I wasn't a fan of it, but um but I I don't know, I kinda like it. And that one has a black 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 backspacer. <laughs> and then the See other one is like a bluish color, which is kind of like almost like a I don't know, like a royal blue, sure. purpley blue color with an orange backspacer. I did kind of like that one too. Yeah, so. that would have been the other one mm -hmm. that I would have gotten, but we went with the basic. Well, and what would be kind of fun too, get multiple ones and change all the backspacers and oh, customize true. them yourself because you know I like to do that. I hadn't thought of that. So yeah. that always might be a fun option. I think we've talked about everything spec wise. You look at there's no um, there's no sharp points on this besides the edge itself. The, um, it's got traction here, mm -hmm. you can hear that, and on the backspacer, but then it's chamfered around the edges. Yeah, it has some grip to it where you need it. This would just be a really good user knife. Like Absolutely. you would just use it all the time. It's perfect size, perfect, I don't know. Awesome blade steel. Yeah. You know, the only the only other sacrifice with D2 is it's a little bit more corrosion mm -hmm. prone. So okay. keep it keep it oiled so, and you'd be good. Well, we were talking about this earlier. Instead of having it sharpen it all, instead of having to sharpen it all the mm -hmm. time, you just have to oil, oil it. it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is a lot quicker and easier. Uh huh. Okay. Speaking of that, let's. It doesn't have a dedicated finger choil, but let's I mean, show that real it kind of does for me a touch, but um, no, not really. It just has a good sharpening choil. I guess so, Frankie. Small hands. Mm -hmm. But look, it falls off the cliff there. Perfect. This is perfect, easy, even grind on this one. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, I really um, like it. Speaking of grind and sharpness and everything, you want to check that real quick? Okay. It it came very sharp. We've cut uh, we've cut some cardboard with it, so it's got some use on it. Um, so it's probably suffered a little bit, but okay. I'll go over here. Yeah, very sharp. 
Uh -huh. I would say it wasn't uh, Kershaw sharp. Kershaw's and ZT's tend to come very they sharp. They do. They Same come with cold really steel, sharp. Yeah. But it was plenty sharp enough. If it's phone book paper sharp, it's it's sharp enough. It was interesting too. While mm. I was cutting that, I noticed that this the little cutout right here. Mm -hmm. I can put my pinky right there, and it kind of just gets another little grip to it. Like if I wanted to really dig in. It yeah. It's right there. Yeah. And I was going to show the box real quick. Oh, also. yeah, the box. Yep. Kind of just a nice basic box. box. But the thing that was in here is kind of neat. It's got a. Um, he has a birth certificate. Yeah, look at this, which is interesting for this one last summer. Inspection. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Each knife gets its own inspection. A little, um, I think it's got the urban, urban line. I'm just calling it the budget line. So. Okay. I think it's called Urban Line. Let me see on the back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Urban. Right. Because <laughs> it has quotes. <laughs> no, but it is me. cool. I'm I'm telling everybody out there, pretty much everybody out there, you need to buy one of these because it's going to replace um, your your old standard setters for budget yeah, knives. It okay? really is. Wherever you might fall, and there's lots more besides mm -hmm. these. Yeah. This one is just wow. It's really the new kid on the block. It's mm -hmm. it's amazing. It wins in so many factors and only falls short in tiny little things. Yeah, but I mean for the price it's $42. Remember that guys $42. Oh, I didn't mention on the handle thickness. So you wanna Actually, it doesn't stand up okay. on its own so much because of the way the backspacer is built. But mm -hmm. that is, oh, the centering's off because of my... Um, yeah, good yeah. job. No, I just need to adjust <laughs> it. From, thank you. Yeah, um, 0 0.50, half an inch thickness. Okay, so it's exactly average. Oh, in that poor dimension. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse, is what I want to say. Yeah. Okay, yeah. No, um, a lot of you are going to need to order this. We'll put links in down below. Uh -huh. We'll put links in for Blade HQ. Make sure to ask for that drawing. Yes. Um, or Amazon, if that's more convenient. Uh -huh. You can get them on Amazon as well. Links down below. Check them out. Order one for yourself and let us know. Yeah, you will love this thing. You really will. What is it going to replace for you? What is it going to replace for yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. But that's the, the modus. I almost said cut jack. There mm -hmm. is the cut jack as well. But yeah, get one. You will not regret it. Yep. We haven't seen a knife come in lately that just kind of takes our breath away, which is, it does. It, this takes one really your breath does. Away. <laughs> Whatever. I hear that song now. <laughs> okay. Takes your breath away. Yeah. Whatever. Top Gun. Okay. <laughs> No, check it out. You can always sell it, but just it, this really is the new standard setter mm -hmm. in so many ways. Yeah. yeah, and we'll be doing more about th these and other ones in, mm -hmm. in the series. So yeah, Frankie, we almost forgot. We did. We almost forgot to talk about the liner lock. Yeah, zero stick from the start. No blade play. Okay. Has a little jimping on there to makes it easy to to feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to access. Mm -hmm. um, and both of us have noted that, see that little bit of a cutout, that little bit of a difference between, between yeah, the sides there? Yeah, it makes it just easy for your hand, thumb to just grab onto it. Perfectly um, accessible uh -huh. and usable. Yeah. yeah, it's just perfect. The liner lock is excellent on this. Absolutely. Awesome, pick one yep, up. Definitely. All right, I think that's everything on this one. Okay. Yep. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.